What's going on, guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a very special video. We got quite a few different things. Shout out to TDK for the poison and the lava hounds. Uh, okay, so we're doing something a little different than we usually do on the channel. I know I have done some farming videos before, uh, but before you end the video, because I know we cover a lot of war content, the attack I'm going to be showing you guys that we'll be demonstrating through some replays and we're going to do one live attack is TDH. We'll go ahead and watch a couple of replays. I do have my troops uh, and spells and everything boosted. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to show you guys how to do this attack, why it's efficient uh, for farming pretty much anything. Uh, one disclaimer is it's usually better in the upper league. So if you guys check this out, and not to mention, we are getting free gems. Like I said, we got all kinds of stuff going on in this video. Um, if you guys notice my last few attacks, so right here, so the the you have 10, I think there's 10 in total. So 14 hours ago, we did our 10th attack. Uh, but look at the average dark that we're getting, 2,000. 2,000 is pretty much bare minimum. Look at this one. This was the attack right here. I have to show you guys. Over 7,000 dark from this attack. Yes, it was a dead base. Uh, so this is 1,600, 1,800. Don't know what happened there. 2,100, 22, 29, 27. Uh, and if you guys look at the bonus, you get 920 dark per win. So all you need to get is one star minimum. Uh, so, and even the elixir cost almost pays for it. If we go ahead and check out what it actually costs to train this army, uh, we're looking at 20, uh, we're looking at 270,000 elixir, only 600 dark. So not a whole lot of dark. The bonus itself, uh, pretty much pays for it. So any dark you actually get from the raid is all going to be net. Uh, but this is the army comp right here, you guys. We got seven wall breakers. We have 14 balloons, four wizards, four healers, 17 minions, one hound. I don't know. Uh, TDH, for those of you guys that don't know, he is from War Whales. I don't even know if he watches these videos. Maybe I'm doing this attack completely wrong. Uh, but the way I'm doing it, I am having a lot of success. Uh, for the spells, we got four rage. We got one haste. And we have one poison. Uh, it's ideal to get a hound uh, for your CC. You don't have to have it. I have been doing these attacks up in Masters uh, with no hound CC. But what we're going to do, guys, we'll go ahead and show you guys a couple of these replays. We're going to start off with this juicy one right here. Now, uh, the base is complete shit, but look at the loot in this base. It's seriously freaking insane. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm just showing you guys this one solely based on the loot. I could not believe it when I found it. We'll go ahead and times two. But I do have some really good examples of this attack and, and how you're actually supposed to do it. And like I said, uh, like you guys saw in the title, it is not only an incredible farming strategy, but it's also an incredible uh, war um, war strategy to use in your guys' clan wars. Um, but yeah, I just had to show you guys this one right here uh, before we get into you know some some of the better examples on some better bases. Uh, I think hands down, this probably was my biggest raid ever. Not only were all the collectors full, but all the storages were damn near full as well. Look at that dark in there. Uh, Inferno towers are dead. Um, oh, and another thing, if you guys didn't notice or if you guys don't know or have not been keeping up with my mini, I only have 1621 heroes. So for those of you that are looking for not only a, a war strategy, um, you know, a war three star strategy, this is it. And it's also for those of you guys that are still farming up your heroes like I am on this account. Uh, no excuses. I don't want any excuses. Oh, my heroes, you know, they're, you know. That, you know, my heroes are too low. I, I can't do these attacks. Bullshit. I, my, my heroes are complete shit. Okay, I'm going to give you guys one example before we do the live attack that will put us in champions. Uh, this is the one that I just did uh, before we started recording. This was a juicy one. Uh, look at this. Over 700,000 um, loot combined and 2,700 dark. So ideally, guys, what you're going to try and do is you start your queen off on a corner. You usually funnel her with a wizard. I don't bring a baby dragon on this attack. 
uh, and just trimming some of the buildings down here uh, with minions, just so she has a clean slate to just go down the wall. What, what you ideally want to do here is you want to charge your queen in to get at least two air defenses. Ideally, you want to pick up a couple wizard towers as well because that splash, because that splash damage. So as you guys see right down here, uh, we got king down. Uh, usually, you're going to be doing uh, not a uh, kiwi walk which is king and just a few wizards behind him, uh, not only to help set a funnel for the queen so she goes where you want her to, uh, but also to trim any defenses that the wizards can reach from over the wall. So as you guys see, we charge into this big compartment right here. We're taking out two air defenses. How is that air defense even in range of those healers? At any rate, took that out. And because my queen is so low, uh, low level, uh, being only level 21, we often burn a couple rages on here. Not even so much for the defenses, it's more for the high HP buildings like the town hall. It literally takes her two and a half minutes to take out a town hall without a rage. Same thing with the DE storage. Um, but yeah, so if you have lower level heroes, usually you end up using your rage to beat through those high HP buildings. So we've already taken out two air defenses. Queen is taking a lot of heat right now. Uh, so she's going to actually end up dying. Uh, but again, just to give you guys an idea about how strong this attack strategy is, uh, you start off with one hound going toward the air defense. You drop the CC hound trickling in anywhere, anywhere from two to four loons per defense, uh, a haste, and then followed up by a raid spell. And then you kind of spam the minions down behind where they can pick up um, any defenses that, are, that are, are being distracted, the storages, um, I mean, any trash, I mean, ideally, you know, you're, you're trying to get loot here. Uh, so you just kind of spam the minions in. You want to make sure that the hound and or the loons are absorbing the traps and tanking the defenses uh, so the minions don't get chewed up by red bombs. They don't trigger seeking air mines, uh, but just something to note. I mean, it's a pretty easy attack. I mean, there is a few moving parts. Kiwi walk, that's brainless. Uh, the queen charge. That's something that you want to that you want to be able to get down. I'll show you guys one more example before we do the live attack. Uh, which one do we want to see? We'll go ahead and check out this one right here. Um, yes, this was this was a, this was actually a pretty good one. This is a pretty common style. Bit, not not I mean. Not, not that you see this base everywhere, but as far as how the air defenses are laid out. Uh, so as you guys see, we have queen down again, just one wizard to help funnel to make her go where we want. Ideally, what we want to do is break into this compartment right here. Why? Because we can take out queen, two air defenses. We can get the DE storage. We can also get the expo. Uh, so clearly she's going to go where we want her to. So here comes king. Uh, so again, he's uh, he's there to help funnel for the queen take out extra defenses and also when you pop his iron fist ability um when his barbarians come out it also helps distract and get your wall breakers down so there goes our wall break um so she's gonna be charging into this compartment clearly we know where she is headed queen on queen action went ahead and dropped a rage just to help queen out right there she'll be charging into this compartment and you can see the air defense is in range we have the archer tower in range we have a wizard tower in range the expo all that juicy stuff and uh, where do I even start the Lalo? I forget where I started the Lalo from. I think we, I think we start the Lalo from the upper left hand side. Um, okay, there goes another rage. So usually anywhere from two, three rages at the most, because I do like having one rage uh, for the flight portion. So we have Hound down, just dropping down, pre-dropping down loons to target the Archer Tower, target the Wizard Tower, target that Mortar just to keep everything pushed in here. Here comes the minions, just spam the minions down. Uh, another note, look at the level of my minions, you guys. I got level four, I don't even have max Town Hall 9 uh, minions yet. We're up here, we're about to be in Champions uh, League here in, in just a few minutes. So we have another Rage Down covering the Air Defense, the Expo, and the other Wizard Tower. Uh, I did have to pop Queen Ability, she was taking heat from a couple defenses and those healers were getting pushed back but that's clearly going to be a three star you guys up here in uh masters i, I don't know about you guys but i'm ready to get 2,000 free gems for those of you guys that don't know or been playing this game as long as i have i completely forgot about it till i realized how high up i was this account has never been to champions once you get to champions league you get okay we are almost cooked up okay that's just one gem uh, once you get to champions, you get 2,000 free gems. 
Um, all right, and again, once you get a little higher, unfortunately, we do find quite a few Town Hall 10 bases. We're gonna be looking for a Town Hall 9. And you don't even, I mean, and, and the fact is, we're three starring these bases. As you guys saw when I showed you guys the 10 attacks we've been doing, we're three starring probably seven out of the 10 bases uh, with shit heroes, with shit minions. I don't like the air defenses on this one. Oh my goodness, but look at how much, look at how much loot this is. I don't think. I don't think we're gonna three star this, but um, this is actually really, really nice. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drop queen right there. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. I'm gonna go ahead and actually drop king on this side. I wanna funnel this side. I'm gonna try to break her in uh, to that middle compartment right there, and we'll see what we can get. Uh, which way is she gonna go? You know what, is she gonna go left? I think she's actually gonna go left uh, with the king. We'll go ahead and pop king ability. Uh, no, she is gonna go right, okay. So that's actually that's actually good. That's where we wanted her to go. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and drop down uh, one wall breaker, go ahead and drop down a few more wall breakers. Kiwi Walk did some work though. He did take out a couple uh, defenses. And because you have so much cleanup on this attack, you can actually start the flight portion a lot later than you normally would because the minions do work. Um, you know, cleaning up, cleaning up the base. You know, behind um, the La Loon. So let's see if we can get this second air defense. We are charging into this compartment. Might have to drop down another rage. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop that right there. We should get queen on queen action here uh, pretty quick. Go ahead and drop down that poison spell. There are no CC troops, and there's two wizard towers right here as well. And let's see, so our queen did win. Expo down. We're gonna get the wizard tower. Let's see where she's gonna path. We are getting a little bit close on time. Uh, okay, we're gonna go ahead and start uh, the flight portion right here. Go ahead and drop down uh, these loons and we'll get some of our minions down here. And we'll go ahead and drop uh, that haste. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing over here on this side. Go ahead and get that rage. We have some more minions down and let's see let's see what we can do let's see if we can three star this base to get into champions queen is working like a champion right now unfortunately that tesla is still up this is pretty smashed though you guys this base got completely wrecked we should get 19 trophies if we get the three star look at those minions doing work uh queen's gonna beat through the wall she should help out uh, clear that core. But look at what these uh, look at what these little <laughs> look at these little minions doing work. We still got our hound up. That actually worked out really really well, you guys. Um, about to and the pups end up taking out that Tesla. And I almost tried to times this, but this is a live attack. I completely forgot. Uh, swag queen ability. There we go. Pop that. Getting the three star. That right there is how we do TDH. At least that is how I do it. Um, and oh my god, look at the loot on this, guys. Look at the loot over a million loot, 4,000 DE on that attack. And just like that, we got an achievement unlocked, you guys. Baby Riggs has now been promoted to Champions League. Uh, that is incredible. And there it is, right there, guys. Uh, 2,000 gems. I am ready to claim my reward. There it goes. Like I said, you guys, and we got to level up. Like I said, you guys, this attack strategy works not only on the war map, but it's incredible for farming, especially once you get into crystal and you start getting a DE bonus for every attack that you do. Please uh, go ahead and give it a try. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Switch it up a little bit. But like I said, uh, for those of you that are looking for the war content, this does work very well um, in wars. I mean, give it a try. Give it a try in FCs. Uh, actually, before we let you go, we're going to go ahead and power up a couple of these walls right here uh, before we go. But I, yeah, we're doing work on this menu, you guys. I'm trying to get this ready. Uh, I'm trying to get this ready for CWL. And we'll go ahead and do one more wall. And we, we ended up banging out three walls, too. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up. Smack that like button if you guys like the video. Uh, comments, questions, or concerns down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.